come down here, pitch side at the Bay Arena. Yo, this is crazy. We're really in the Bay Arena here. Watch your head, it's a bit low. Ultra is getting into full voice before kickoff here at the Bay Arena. This might be the moment that the world starts thinking Leverkusen might actually win the Bundesliga this year. Come on! At the airport, about to board. First stop, Frankfurt. Then we'll take a train over to Leverkusen. Made it on board. Got the whole road to myself. On the flight, time for a snack and hopefully a little sleep. We are back in Germany now. Didn't sleep very much even though I had the whole row. Frankfurt Airport, first stop, the Packhouse Galba, and then the Bahnhof to get to the As you can see, the clock has just struck party time. Carnival is in full swing. Now, before we get going, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Now that we've got our personalized taxi, let's finish the travel and get to Leverkusen. Just arrived at the hotel. Let's check it out. Closet, let's load it up. King size bed, TV. I won't even turn it on the whole weekend. And of course, the view of the stadium. Just got to Leverkusen and this was waiting for me when I arrived in the hotel. Loving all the personalization. Thank you, Byron No Fear. I am off to the stadium. More videos coming soon. It's gonna be a lot of fun on this tour, so stay tuned. Bit of a rainy day to say the least here in Leverkusen. This area will be packed on Saturday when it's Bayern Ophir versus FC Bayern, a match that could decide the Bundesliga title. Walking over to the Bayern Arena, can't see it now, but here are some of the training complexes and other pitches that are part of the greater sports club of Bayern Ophir. All right, we braved the rain, we made it to the Bayern Arena. Here's a little mess up, gonna have to fix that before I shoot the Q&A. Anyway, that's what we're doing inside. Stay tuned. Some people were asking me, when does the Q&A come out? Well, I just filmed it. Here was my setup in the Bay Arena in Leverkusen. Check this out. What a perfect setting for the Q&A. It's gonna be about sports media. Time to bring the curtains down on day one. Friday morning stadium tour. Can't be a better start to the day than that. We're back off to the Bay Arena, kicking things off at the Schwadbud. This bar is like a mini museum to Leverkusen. Some of these kits are sick. Anyway, let's start the tour. This might be my favorite rendition of the Golden Boot Trophy in Germany. It's called the Torjäger Kanone. Check this out. And who won that award? Ulf Kirsten. He's immortalized in the stadium right here. We have to see a lot of stuff, so that's why are we uh, going? We are here at the Bay Arena. For now, we got Jared and Jake. Yo, this is crazy. We're really in the Bay Arena here. We are all the way at the top of the Bay Arena. Look at this view. I've heard that this is the best pitch in the Bundesliga. Yesterday, I was seeing all the lights. They were making sure that the grass was regrowing, even though it's been raining pretty much nonstop in Germany. Let's see what the next stop on this tour is. Imagine that a Bundesliga club puts your name up on the electronic board. Well, I don't have to imagine it. I just saw it and honestly, my mind is blown because that was crazy. Wow, was für eine Aussichtspunkt das war. So on to the next one. Now it's time for my official presentation as a new signing up here in the press conference room. Now that I've officially signed for Leverkusen, time to meet some of my new teammates. Piero. Wie geht's? Sehr gut. Here come the Bayer players out of their training. They're going down to the pitch. The squad was going out of the gym, off to training, but we managed to get Jonathan Middleton a photo with Florian Wirtz. I love this photo behind the photo. Next step for my unveiling, the locker room, classic photo shot, had to get the shirt up. And now, time to walk out on the pitch just like the players. How cool is that to walk out onto the pitch at the Bay Arena? I feel like one of the players just pop in here. 
watch your head, it's a bit low. A little bit behind the scenes on this tour, everybody's here checking out the pitch. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. They had our names up here again, as you saw. Look, they just changed now yesterday. It was still there from the cup of Leverkusen against Stuttgart and today it's Leverkusen and Bayern for the Bundesliga which we're gonna see tomorrow. Those are those suites over there that uh, I was filming the Q&A in. Coming up to our last stop on the tour, another amazing view from here in the stadium. This is another one of the VIP sections. Maybe we'll be back later. The contrast here is crazy. Tomorrow night, this stand will be lit up with flares during the match. Nearly finished with the stadium tour, it's almost time for lunch, but first, a special assignment for Jared and Beford. I delivered pizzas to the Bay Arena pitch. <laughs> Only the most special delivery. The smell of the freshly cut grass is yes, amazing. The They're making sure that everything is in order for the top spiel tomorrow against Bayern. Back up to the eSports Lounge. Of course, if you want to check out the stadium vlog, watch it right after this video. I'm going to link it in the description. The stage is set for the biggest Bundesliga game of the season. Bayern no fear versus FC Bayern. Can Chubby Alonso's hotshots take down the record Bundesliga champions? I'll be here in Leverkusen watching. Will you? All right, we're going to go into the Bayern No Fear fan shop and customize our own jerseys. Amazing, let's go. Very quickly here, wanted to show you a little bit about the Leverkusen shop on the premises at the Bay Arena. Hey John, I got your name set. <laughs> That's so cool. They're just personalizing everything for us. Since I already have the Grimsy 2 kit that Bayer customized for me last year, I decided to go with the Florian Wirtz number 10 this time. Oh, and so you have to put on the Bayer no fear lettering, that's not just always on the... No, we have to Always kit standard. Yeah, we, you can um, buy it warm, uh, without, without anything. So we have to put it all sets. Amazing. Yeah. Drone, thank you so much. Oh. oh. He's a pro. That is a good technique. <laughs> thank you. Here I come. Leverkusen let us customize a jersey. It was amazing. To be honest, I almost got another one with my name on the back because it just feels so cool, but I already had one, so I picked Florian Wirtz, got this one customized. After lunch, we're headed back outside to check out the training pitch and interview a couple of the Leverkusen players. What is your name? My name's Tal. What position do you play? I'm a goalkeeper. Do you rather score a penalty or save a penalty? Actually score. To win the World Cup or the Champions League? Champions League. Late night kickoff or daytime kickoff? Daytime. Play in the rain or play in the snow? Snow. Pizza or pasta? Awesome. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Thank you so much. No problem. Always. One last stop at the stadium. We're heading into the recovery center. I can't believe that this gym is only for players recovering through injury. They have another gym that the first team was using that we saw some of the men's first team players coming out of a little bit earlier. Also in here is the Kelta camera, which means cold chamber. In the past, there was a gap between we only concentrate how we can make a player faster, stronger, and more stable, whatever, to get a better athlete. And in the last 10, 15 years, they concentrate um, mostly on recovery. So how good can we bring a player from one training session into another so that he can train hard in the second and the third in the week. This is the place that got down to negative 110 degrees Celsius, minus 165 degrees Fahrenheit. 
We went in there, you can see it all in the stadium vlog. I don't know, the jet lag must have gotten to me or something because for some reason I took off my shoes. Usually the players all go in here in their swimsuits, wearing no shirts, no pants. Uh, we kept our clothes on, but for some reason I decided to take off my shoes and I think it froze holes into my socks. The bottom of my feet were just raw after this. Uh, don't recommend that part. Very cool experience though overall. Anyway, what a day at the stadium. Full experience. Felt like I was a new signing being presented to the media walking out onto the pitch just like the players amazing and to cap it all off friday night it's party time that's why you see the pirate hat carnival you have to wear a costume in Germany for Halloween, you have to wear a scary costume, but Carnival is a fun costume. You see these guys in the beer cans with Fruit Kolsch, one of Leverkusen's sponsors. We had a great time out on the town. Have you ever been to Carnival? Also, how big is the Kölner Dome, the Köln Cathedral? I've heard that this is the second largest cathedral in the world. Somebody's gonna have to check my stats on that. So we just randomly stumbled upon Lukas Podolski's donut shop here in Cologne. <laughs> And then, to cap off the night, dinner kebab at Lukas Podolski's shop. I forgot that he had a kebab shop. This was one of the most random things I've seen, but I don't eat meat, so I got a falafel. Back to the hotel, you see the buyer cross. That's how you know you're in Leverkusen. Saturday morning, it's match day. Leverkusen versus Bayern. Before all the madness, gotta get ready for the day. Get set. You saw my day in the light video. I was meditating, writing in my journal. That's kind of what I do every morning. And then, time to get a little bit of work done before before we head off to the stadium. My feet were still sore from wearing no shoes in a minus 100 degree environment. This game could decide the Bundesliga title. It's possibly the biggest game I've ever covered. We're all set, ready to go. Now let's head off to the Bayer Arena. These training pitches are right next to the Bayer Arena. So for the club's academy players, they're able to train right next to the first team in view of the stadium, giving them that motivation to make it up to that first team. And I think that's really special. It's a cool thing when clubs can keep their youth very integrated and show them that path to the first team. We're here right in front of the Bayer Arena. This is where the TV trucks are that are gonna be broadcasting this game around the world. Right over here, down this tunnel, that's where the buses are gonna arrive with the players later on. It's gonna be a great game. Can't wait to show you more about this stadium. Had our lunch and now we're off to do an interview with Leverkusen legend Paulo Sergio. He won the World Cup with Brazil in 1994. All these fans outside the stadium, you can just feel the energy here. They are so ready for the top spiel. We are having Fumfraga mit Paulo Sergio. Yes. Was ist die beste Atmosphäre in die Bundesliga? Ich glaube, dieses Spiel ist super Atmosphäre. Und die beste Atmosphäre in die Welt. Und wie findest du Fußballfans in den USA? Gut, nicht wie hier, nicht wie in Brasilien, aber gut. Dreierpack oder letzte Minute Tor? Letzte Minute Tor. Beste Spiele, du hast gespielt äh, gegen einen. Gegen. Ich kenne ihn. Und ja, beste ja. Spiel, du hast mit Ronaldo Fenomeno. Danke. Wie schön. Did an interview with Paulo Sergio in German. My colleagues assured me it was okay, but I'll let you be the judge. This is a massive match. All of the fans already lined up. They've been waiting out here for hours, getting ready for Leverkusen versus Bayern. Had to check out the veggie corner there, see what kind of vegan scram they got. I don't know if I'll make it there during the game, but I'm going to try. And now it's time to head into the stadium. I know this is the moment that a lot of you were waiting for. Hey, look who it is. It's Marcus, our tour guide from the other day. And we are headed inside the Bay Arena. You can see it up there. So we are here in the garage for the player arrivals, but can't take any videos, it's only for broadcast. So if you wanna see player arrivals, tune in to the broadcast. What a game this is gonna be. It's hard to say that I had a favorite moment of this trip, but going onto the pitch is always incredible. All right, we're here in the Bay Arena. Check this out, what a view. Pitch side pre-match, everybody's getting their clips, check it out, it's content creators in their natural habitats. So as we were seeing the other day, this pitch is in pristine condition, I think I said they have 14 full-time groundskeepers. They want to make sure that this is a pristine pitch when it comes to the match. 
how to get a couple of interviews with some of my fellow creators on this trip, you'll be seeing those come out on my vertical video channels. What an experience being down here, hip side at the Fire Arena. Honestly, this game is massive and I'm so excited for you to see the rest of it. Musa Diaby used to play in Germany. Right here on this pitch, you see Musa Diaby. Leverkusen players have started their warm ups. Here's my old friend Lucas Radetzky. Met him in Mexico in 2022. You probably saw it. I spoke with him later in the night. I had no idea how this game was going to transpire. Cannot believe the way that it ended. Teams are out for the warm ups, and you just heard Bayern getting booed by the Ultras. They don't like them. Leverkusen needs to win this one. They gotta win their first Bundesliga title. And now Leverkusen taking to the pitch for their own warm-ups. These fans are ready. Ultra is getting into full voice before kickoff here at the Bay Arena. I love watching football in Germany because the fan culture is the best in the world. TV camera crews setting up their shots, broadcasters going through the pregame show. Everything is almost ready for the big match. Again, if you saw the Q&A, if you saw the suite I was in during the stadium tour, this is where it was located in relation to the pitch. The Solarnia Lounge, pretty sick suite. Apparently demand for hospitality seating at Leverkusen this year is way up. Check it out, living the dream. If you wanna see more about this part of the experience, check out my day in the life video. Well, sometimes you got to go out to go back in, so we had to leave from the field level to get back to our seats in the Bay Arena. I'm not sure I've actually entered a stadium twice in a time that I had a ticket, so here's my official ticket to scan in to the match. We're enjoying the fan scenes, enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the chance. Now, time for the players to walk out and take to the pitch for this very anticipated Bundesliga match. But wait, before the match can begin, there are some more fan protests. If you've been following German football, you've been seeing these fans from pretty much every club protesting the league, trying to sell a stake in its media rights to private equity firms. And guess what? The protests worked. The private equity firms pulled out of talks with the league. Thanks in part to fan protests, they didn't want it. They're not gonna have it. Protests actually went on for about eight minutes. Fans throwing things like gold coins, tennis balls onto the pitch. Eight minutes late, we're finally underway. We've got our first pyro sighting in the Bayern away end. They played it up here in the I think the entire football world has been rooting for someone else to win the Bundesliga. The hosts nearly double their advantage, but Manuel Neuer comes up big to make this save. In other news, Bayern fans are back to their old tricks with the pyrotechnics. We heard the stadium operator time and time and time again saying that they are not permitted in the stadium, and alas, the Bayern fans continued on. Leverkusen see this out. Time for a beer. Off to try to find the vegan stand of food here at halftime. 
Let's see what they got for me. Well, it is Carnival. You're probably seeing some of the costumes and it's just a party atmosphere here in the terraces with Bayer up 1-0 on the Bundesliga champions at halftime. Made it around to the veggie corner. Let's get some vegan scran. Well, it's safe to say that we picked the wrong line to stand in here at the kiosk, but maybe the food will be here soon. So we're at the vegan stand and tell me your name. Uh, my name is Marius. Marius, and tell me what you just said. You've been a season ticket holder for a long time. Yeah, but... since I was a little boy. And uh, I am a vegan and when the fan initiative was asking around what changes to make, I suggested doing a vegan stand. So uh, I highly appreciate it. Since, since and now, and now we're here able to enjoy it. I think it's so good because football should be for everyone and no matter what your diet is, you can enjoy it. Yeah. Well, we got a beer, got a broadwurst. And now we're going back to the seats. Well, I was getting some mustard for the Broadwurst and I missed the second goal. It is now Leverkusen 2, Bayern 0. Back in the seat and time to enjoy this vegan Broadwurst. It better be good enough to have justified missing that sick Grimaldo goal. Now it's time to do something illegal in England. Drink a beer in my seat. What a season this must be for Leverkusen fans. They weren't even intimidated by Bayern. They were just enjoying the party atmosphere. Not satisfied with his first, Grimaldo goes for goal from the corner, hits the crossbar, still 2-0. Jeremy Frimpong has entered the match. He's a fan favorite. We saw him yesterday heading to training. If you saw this game, you know what happens. If you didn't, just stay tuned. It's gonna be insane. Ausverkauft his house, sold out at the Bayern Arena as we see 30,210 fans in attendance for this match. Chubby Alonso doing that coaching out there, fine tuning his team for the final minutes. First chance for Frimpong, he hits the post. A warning sign for Bayern. Will they be able to adjust? Frimpong forces another save from Neuer. Bayern really on the ropes. Leverkusen, time for them to close out the game and Chubby's making a couple of subs to do just that. Into stoppage time and this might be the moment that the world starts thinking Leverkusen might actually win the Bundesliga this year. Come on! I'm not sure the exact words of this chant in German. I know it's Canto y no llores in Espanol. Love to hear it. Love to see the fans bouncing. Final moments of the match, Leverkusen versus Bayern. Verks off with a 2-0 lead on the champions. I was filming because I wanted to see the ref blow the final whistle. But what happened next was absolutely incredible, way better than what I expected. Moments before disaster if you're a Bayern fan, possibly one of the greatest moments of your life if you're a Leverkusen fan. Let's get an empty netter, you can hear me say on the recording. Neuer up for the corner kick, nearly wins the header, gets bodied by Jonathan Ta. Edwin Tapsoba is the first to react. Tapsova picks out a fresh leg of Jeremy Frimpong, a second half substitute. We're yelling shoot! The crowd holds its breath. It was wild to me how stifled Bayern were in this match. They only created a few chances and Leverkusen dealt with them. I won't say fairly easily, but it was comfortable. If you thought it was getting rowdy during the match, you ain't seen nothing yet. First, we see Chabi Alonso reject the curtain call, then decides to bring on his whole staff. You might have seen my other video about this, but he was being serenaded. All the fans loving the moment with the ultras. Lucas Radetzky climbs into the stands, leads the chant. Honestly, one of the most special moments that I've seen in football. It's all about players, the team, coach, everybody involved connecting with the fans. Honestly, this is what it's all about. What a result here in Leverkusen. Bayern three, Bayern nil. This could be the moment the world remembers. And Bayern's title.
title run ended. Jeremy Frimpong with an empty netter in the 90th minute. The crowd serenading Chappi Alonso as they left the pitch. What a moment, what an atmosphere. These fans were unreal. So now we're in the mix zone waiting for the players, seeing if we can get a couple of extra interviews following that huge Leverkusen win. First we saw the Bayern players, Harry Kane walking by. Some people wanted to talk to him, but absolutely no chance, says Harry. Thomas Muller, mostly speaking to the German press, spoke to some of the Leverkusen players, can't even imagine some of the emotions they were feeling. It was really amazing seeing some of these guys again after meeting them in Mexico in 2022. Tell you the fans climbing into the stands what was that like what was going through your head no really nice experience and uh, after a win like that it makes it even more sweeter so and you beat, you beat the record champions how are you feeling right now yeah how can you feel after beating the uh, Bayern 3-0 of course it's magnificent and uh, we have to keep going it's nothing uh, Nothing is uh, won yet, so 13 more kilometers and games to go. Wise words from Captain Lukas Radetzky. They are not at the finish line yet. Couple more games to go. I think they're going to be able to do it, but you got to focus game by game. Just take it one day at a time. Time for some post-game refreshments. The restaurant was closing down, so limited options. Looks like I'm going to have some more liquid nutrition. I think we're probably the last people to leave the Bay Arena. It's almost 11 and... We're still just enjoying the post-match high. What a win for the Werksauf against Bayern. Do you think they can win the Bundesliga title this year? Still speechless, speechless. What a match. Well, didn't sleep except for just maybe like a 30 minute nap. So uh, yeah, brain's a little bit <laughs> fried, but got a lot of work done. Been getting a bunch of posts in and We'll see a lot more content coming soon. <laughs> yes, we're almost at the end. You can go check out the full day in the life video if you missed that one. As for me, I'm gonna pack up my stuff. Gotta catch my flight out of Frankfurt. First stop, Cologne Bahnhof. Let's see what they got for me. Amazing, we got a chocolate donut and you see that magic word, it says vegan there. Secured the bag, got a vegan donut. Ready for the train. Back to Frankfurt and I fly home. I love going to Germany because it's so easy to get around on the trains, on the Autobahn, pretty much any way that you're trying to travel. Super easy and quick. Gotta love when your trip through security at the airport is an absolute breeze. Why don't we have these in America? As for actually getting on the plane, eh, we had to do a little bit of driving first. All right, final boarding check. That means it's time to leave Germany. It's been a lot of fun here, and I know we're gonna be back soon, but in the meantime, stay tuned. This was far and away the longest vlog I've ever produced, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it, what kind of stuff you wanna see more, what you wanna see next time, where you think I should go next, anything, hit me with it down below. As always, thank you so much to Bayern no Fear Leverkusen for bringing me out for this amazing match. Somehow it exceeded expectations. Thank you, Footy Fam. A special thanks to the VIPs and Ultras who are paid subscribers on the Footy Fam Patreon. This video wouldn't be possible without your support. If you wanna see your name in the credits and get other awesome perks like BTS content and more, make sure to subscribe via the link in the description.